Hello everyone, my name is Crook. Today we'll be talking about the Daisy Commander. You can download this utility from daisycommander.com. First install the program and then open the program using the desktop icon. This tool is used to keep your Armor 2 and Daisy mod up to date. Also has other pretty nifty features. As you can see, it has a server list that fetches and refreshes pretty quickly. On the left hand side it has options to help filter servers for your specific needs. It even has a drop down list for the server's time of day. Right under that we can specifically look for servers that have armor, third person, tracers, nameplates, crosshairs, and death messages. Next I will show you the recent servers list, where you can backtrack and find awesome servers that have treated you well. And onto the favorites, where you can add those servers that have treated you well to a more specific list. Not to mention, let's throw in a friends list, where you can join and play with your friends without the hassle of searching through the lengthy server list. Let's go take a look at the versions tab. This tab shows you versions of your Daisy Commander, Armor 2, and Daisy mod. It also lets you know if they are up to date and allows you to download the most recent versions. This tab also shows some pretty cool statistics on what versions of Daisy and Armor 2 servers are currently running. Lastly, we will take you to the settings tab. This is where you can set game launch options, which include running the game in windowed mode, setting up multi GPU support, and even closing the Daisy Commander after launching the game. Have you ever wanted to show people you are playing Daisy on Steam? Well, now you have the option to do that using Daisy Commander. This tab also has options to override game directories and some simple options available for the commander. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so, please click that subscribe button and remember to visit fpsgeneral.com where you can find everything about shooters first. Have a nice day everyone.